Praise the Lord, lovely people of the Most High God. I believe we are doing great by the sure mercies of the Most High God today. My name is Day, and I welcome you once again to Live Seeds on OS TV. The Lord is going to be a blessing unto us by what He is about to teach us. Hallelujah. The last time we started with the theme, My Strengths in light of my weaknesses. And we were trying to have the right perception about our strengths and our weaknesses. Hallelujah. And I believe that what we shared has started strengthening your hands to work something for the Lord, to attempt what you could not attempt before. And as you continue in that, the Lord will be a blessing unto many people through you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much as your children. One more time, breathe upon us through thy word. May we be refreshed, strengthened for what you have called us unto. May our weakness never override our strengths in our eyes. Even if all and sundry see our weakness, may we see the power of our strength and engage our strengths so that you will be glorified at the end. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want us to continue this discussion. My strengths in light of my weaknesses. Let us take our theme scripture again. And today we'll be doing... 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 1, 2, and 3. And I read, Now Naaman, commander of the army of the king of Syria, was a great and honorable man in the eyes of his master, because by him the Lord had given victory to Syria. He was also a mighty man of valor, but a leper. And the Syrians had gone out on raids and had brought back captive a young girl, from the land of Israel, she waited on Naaman's wife. Then she said to her mistress, If only my master were with the prophet who is in Samaria, for he would heal him of his leprosy. Amen. We are still looking at my weakness, my strengths in light of my weaknesses. And today I'm here to encourage you and to give you a knowledge which will empower you for exploits. The knowledge is that it is your strengths that will swallow up your weaknesses. It is your strengths that will heal your weaknesses. Hallelujah. From the scripture we read, we know that upon all Naaman has achieved in life. He still had a challenge. He still had a problem. There was a weakness in his flesh in that he was a leper. But watch this. By engaging his strength in that he was a mighty man of valor, he goes with his army to Israel. And upon the thing that they captured, they capture a young girl. The girl is brought to Syria and she's now waiting upon Naaman's wife. This lady now sees the calamity, the challenge of the master, Naaman, and says that mm, this challenge, there is a solution for it. You get the inspiration that showed Naaman said that because of his weakness, he's never go, going to engage his strength. Then he will never go on the raid, first of all, in Israel. He will never capture a girl who will come and now be the antidote to his problem. So by engaging his strength, at long last, his weakness was solved. His challenge was solved. And that is why I'm still on the theme. 
or inspiring you to engage your strength. Many of us, our strength shall never depart except we engage our strength. Neymar never knew that there was solution to his problem, his weakness, except he went on to engage his strength. And in so doing, he brought a slave girl who was the solution to the problem. Child of God, why do you keep lamenting of what you cannot do? If only you will engage what you can do. If only you will engage your talents today. What you can do will do the miracle. The next thing is that many people are celebrated today because of their weakness. Their results, what they are able to do, are very celebrated because of the challenges that all men know that they have. The last time I saw on social media, a man who was being celebrated, a blind man, who sells coconut, he goes by himself and fetches the coconut and sells them. He goes around selling them by himself. And if you look at how he goes about his daily activities, it is mind-boggling. But a man who is not blind, who is not invalid, or who has no disability challenge in him, will do the same thing and will not be recognized. Why? It is normal. You could see that the man was celebrated because of his challenge. It was his challenge that was bringing fame or glory to his strength. So why do you still want to, out of the obsession of your weakness, say that you never engage your strength? I'm urging you today, child of God, engage your strength. Engage your strength. You can do something. The world is counting on you. Go ahead and do that thing. And you see that even we will celebrate you because of that challenge. Because we know that you had something that was a constraint, but you never allowed that to stop you. You still went on and engaged your strength. God bless you so much. I know that the Lord has blessed you with this word. I will encourage you and urge you to kindly share this broadcast with your friends and loved ones so that they will also be encouraged, so that they will also have hope and engage their strengths, that they will also have victory, they will also prosper, and they will also make right decisions in this life. God bless you so much. May the Lord continually enlarge your coast in all that you are doing. Whatever thing that you find, do. May the Lord prosper it in Jesus' mighty name. I know your end because your end will be glorious. You are engaging your strength and your strength shall in no time heal your weakness. God bless you so much and have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Amen.